Okay, graphing 12-3. Part 1, graphing using intercepts. Intercepts. Intercepts are the places where your line crosses the X or Y axis. There's an X intercept where your line crosses the X axis and there's a Y intercept where your line crosses the Y axis. So in this lesson instead of making a table to graph we're going to learn how to find the X intercept and the Y intercept. Once we found those two points we could go ahead and graph our line. So we're talking about finding X intercepts and finding Y intercepts. Now, here is our first equation. Instead of making a table, as I've already said, we're going to learn to find the X and Y intercept. The places where the line crosses the X and Y axis. And there's a real simple way to do it. Notice I wrote the equation down twice. Because in the first equation, I'm going to make X be zero. And in the second equation, I'm going to make Y be zero. And then I'm going to solve, and that's going to give me the intercept. So, in the first equation, I'm going to go ahead and put zero in for X. Now, once I put zero in for X, three times zero is what? Zero. So that whole thing just sort of drops out because 0 plus 4y would still be 4y. Now I divide by 4 because remember I want to find what y is. And I find out that y is 3. So that means this line is going to intercept the y-axis at this point, at 3, which is the point 0, 3. Get it? 0. There's your x, y is 3, 0, 3. That's, the, that's that point. That's what we're finding. Now let's solve the other one and put 0 in for y. So 3x plus 4 times 0 equals 12. Well, 4 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 3x is just 3x. So 3x equals 12. So x equals 4, okay? So that means the other point we're looking for is the point 4, 0. Because remember, this is y. It's a terrible looking y. Anyway, 4, 0. So on the x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, there's the point. Connect the dots. There's your line. Let's try another one. Okay, here's our next equation. Remember? Write it down twice, and maybe that will help your brain go, Oh, I have to put 0 in for x and solve it. Then I have to put 0 in for y and solve it. So, if I put 0 in for x, let's see what happens. 2 times 0 is 0. Well, 0 plus y is just y. y equals 3. I'm done. Now I'm going to put 0 in for y. So 2x plus 0 equals 3. Well, that's just 2x. Two 2x two equals 3. So x equals 3 over 2, which is 1 and a half. When you get ready to graph that, you're going to need 1 and a half. Okay? Now, let's get ready and graph this line. We've got y equals 3, x equals 1 and a half. Let's graph it. Okay, now, in this last equation, we found out when we put 0 in for x, we got 3 for y, and when we put 0 in for y, we got 1 and a half for x. So, what are those ordered pairs going to look like? We should have two ordered pairs. Well, x is always first, so this must be 1 and a half, and this must be 0, because we put 0 in for y, and y is 3, it must go in the y spot, and this must be 0 because we put 0 in for x. Now, all I'm going to do is go to the x-axis and go to 
one and a half, which is right about there. If my thing would draw right, one right there. And then I'm going to go on the y-axis to three, which is there. Because aren't those the, isn't this the point? One and a half, zero. And isn't this the point? Zero, three. Okay, and then all I have to do is draw the line. Okay, I graphed the line. I only had to use two points. It was easy. You can do this. Okay, it's your turn to practice on one. Go ahead and solve this one. Put zero in for x, solve for y, and then put zero in for y, solve for x. See if you can find your intercepts and then turn your video back on and see if you did it right. Okay, here's the worked out solution. You should have gotten y equals 5 and x equals negative 2. If you didn't get that, go back and find your mistake. And if you did get that, now I want you to try to graph the line. So, either way, you need to try to graph the line Get your graph done and then you can check in a minute on my graph and see if you got it right. Okay, when you graph it, you go up to 5 and find this point, y equals 5. And you go over to negative 2 on x, find negative 2, and then you just draw your line right down through those two points. Hope you did great. Here's your video homework. Make sure you follow the instructions. You're going to put 0 in for x and find y. Put 0 in for y and find x. And then you're going to graph it. Notice how the instructions on this are worded. This is the same wording as you will see in the book on homework. Have a lovely evening.